member services is a proud sponsor of the Ventura College women's basketball team. Regardless of where you are in your career, Plan Member can provide you with a personalized financial strategy. To learn more, go to www.planmember.com and request your free personalized retirement plan. The Fred Evans team has been a proud sponsor of Ventura College women's basketball for over two decades. Fred Evans and his team sell Ventura County to the world. Give them a call for all your real estate needs at 805-267-6701 or visit www.fredevans.com. Also brought to you by the Benchwarmer. The Benchwarmer is Ventura's version of Cheers. Play darts or shoot pool, listen to your favorite tunes on the jukebox, or watch the game of the day on one of their many TVs. The bench warmer located at 1855 East Main Street in Ventura is the place to go for a good time. A proud sponsor of Ventura College Women's Basketball. And if you are interested in being a program booster for the Ventura College Women's Basketball team, you should join the ship's crew. The ship's crew entitles you to special benefits and announcements. For more information, pick up a brochure in the lobby or visit the website at www.vcweplayhard.com and click on Women's Basketball. Mike Cap is a third generation Venturan and a realtor for over 23 years. He is associated with the Becker Group, a leading commercial brokerage and management firm in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties. Contact Mike at 805-214-1620. That's 805-214-1620 for all your commercial real estate needs. Mike Cap is a proud sponsor of VC Women's Basketball. And tonight's broadcast also brought to you by the Ventura Moose Lodge. The Ventura Moose Lodge is a fraternal organization dedicated to assisting the people of our community. Their fundra fundraising efforts help to support Moose Heart, a child care faculty, and Moose Haven, a residential community for seniors. In addition, they support various Ventura nonprofit organizations. To learn more, stop in and see them at 10269 Telephone Road or call at 805-323-5095. Proud sponsors of Ventura College Women's Basketball.
set to get underway. The Brahmas and the Pirates. Game two of our doubleheader. Again, we mentioned Pierce comes in with a record of 12 and six on the season, but they've lost four of their last five, including their first two in conference play. Uh, certainly uh, injuries and absences in the lineup have to be considered part of that miracle. Anise Millinghouse and Derricka Millinghouse, both key performers over the first uh, 10 or 11 games of the season uh, for the Brahmas. Uh, both continue to be out of the lineup, and that's about the time that the Brahmas started to struggle in terms of the win-loss column. Meanwhile, right away, Daphne Lebrun knocks down a triple to get the Pirates going. Grab a quick 3-0 lead. So certainly the, op the absence of uh, the Millinghouse sisters, I'm going to guess, uh, Miracle and Derricka, uh, have hurt the Brahmas. They've lost four of their last five uh, after they had gotten off to a torrid start, uh, trying to pick it up, and they get a Pirate team here that is always tough at home. Chasson Gutierrez, meanwhile, with the turnaround, uh, gets it to go. 3-2, quickly back the other way. Howry tries to hook a pass to the middle, but Coble comes away with it. Another chance for the Pirates. Howry in the lineup with Tiernan Phillips and Alexa Coble up front. Sam McKenzie, Daphne Lebrun, in the backcourt for the Pirates. LeBrun finding Tiernan Phillips. And a quick start for the Pirates offensively, and they lead it 5-2. Meanwhile, for Pierce in the backcourt, it's Chasson Gutierrez along with Sophia Chamkertenian. Up front, Kayla Fisher, Bahijao Allen. And trying to get one more for you here to set the starting five. Meanwhile, the entry pass is stolen and back the other way. McKenzie going to lay it up and in. Quick start. And Tihara Henry uh, finishes out the five and a quick timeout from Tara Innocent. So some struggles in the half court getting things going for the Brahmas. And the Pirates grab a quick 7-2 lead. We'll step away here on the VC Sports Network. Pirates on top of Pierce College. Defense leading to the offense for the Pirates and that quick 7-2 lead to start. As they tried to find Henry and the high post. Looking for Fisher on the give and go, forces a shot up, no good. Copel has the rebound. LeBron wants to run, finds McKenzie. Hooks a pass to Copel from 15, doesn't get the roll. Rebound on the floor, Ferrara able to clear it. Another chance for the Pirates. Ferrara open for three, she'll fire off the back iron. Coble, another offensive rebound, and a chance again for the Pirates. Third chance here on this set. McKenzie in the high post, spins into the lane, puts the shot up, no good. Rebound to Chasson Gutierrez. Gutierrez feeds Henry, gets it back. Allen will try for three, that's no good. Rebound off McKenzie and out of play going to stay with L.A. Pierce. Now Pierce last year won just three games on the season. Fisher misses point blank, gets her own rebound, shot up, no good. Rebound to Coble. A couple of good looks for Fisher, but can't get them to go. McKenzie into the front court to double dribble. So the turnover on the Pirates gives it back. So the Brahmas get it back on the turnover. Just three wins a season ago after two wins during the 2021 campaign. So this is an incredible turnaround for the Brahmas. And indeed, the loss of a couple of key players uh, has stalled their momentum. Uh, 
Otherwise, this was really a truly amazing turnaround for the Brahmas, who were quickly up to 12 wins on the season. Meanwhile, the Pirates coming back from some injury trouble of their own. When we were here about 10 days ago, uh, the Pirates were having to go deep into the bench, having four of their five starters out for a couple of games uh, before the contest last Wednesday night against Oxnard. But now they start to get the likes of Tiernan Phillips, Sam McKenzie, back into the fold and into the lineup in the Pirates. Uh, much closer to full strength now as they come into action tonight. Seven-two Pirate lead. High screen from Salazar gets it on the roll, but it's knocked free and stolen. Gutierrez into the front court, turnaround shot around and out, rebound back tap to Gutierrez, hangs in the air, shot off the glass, won't go. Rebound on the floor, Fisher down to get it. They continue to battle, and the Brahma's going to keep it as the foul called against Elena Ferraro. Henry will bring it in. has checked in. Excuse me, Sarah Wolf has checked in. Henry on the drive, dragged the pivot foot. That's a travel. So the turnover gives it back to the Pirates. Pirate defense making it difficult for the Brahmas right from the outset. LeBrun. Pass back to Salazar, high archer off the back iron, long rebound, chased down by Salazar. Another chance for the Pirates. LeBron working on Wolf. Gets it back from Hurt. Amari Hurt is checked in. LeBron with the runner, won't go, but a foul called. And Daphne LeBron. We'll get to the line and let's watch here. Job getting the shot up on the reach in by Sophia Chumpertanian. And apologies, didn't get to check on the exact pronunciation. I'm going to double check that uh, between quarters, but a couple of fairly tough names on the Brahma roster. So we'll see if our good friend Rick Ruffinelli handling the PA here at Ventura can give us the final determination. In the meantime, apologies if the uh, pronunciation is slightly off. LeBron one out of two at the line. Henry battling for the board, but it's Hurt who ends up winning the ball, but the turnaround shot won't go. McKenzie on the back tap has it for the Pirates. 8-2 the Pirate lead. McKenzie on the drive to the reverse, no good, but a foul call. Well, Sam McKenzie is a member of the track team, and even in the half court, you can see why. Let's watch here from up top. Faces up on Gutierrez. And so quick to the front of the rim. Can't get the reverse layup to go, but does have a couple of free throws coming. It's the first. One more coming for McKenzie. Mentioned the Pirates coming off. Seven point loss at Moore Park. Wednesday night, two and one in conference play. After opening with wins over Oxnard and then a one point win at Cuesta last Saturday night. Three ball is good. Wolf hits the three. Meanwhile, quickly back the other way, taking it right out of the basket and running the floor of the Pirates with a 12 5 lead. Howry with the layup, 
Gutierrez on the give and go. Nicely done off the feed from Henry. 12-7, Brahma's starting to find their bearings in the half court. Jump stop for McKenzie through the double team around and out on the layup, hurt on the offensive glass. Might have had that one partially blocked by Henry. Chance for the Brahmas to cut into this five point deficit. Fisher in the high post. Gets it back from Henry. Turnaround shot, no good, but a foul called. And Kayla Fisher gonna head to the line. So Fisher already the free throws as Coble returns along with Phillips. Good stretch, particularly on the glass for Amari Hurt. For the Pirates, a couple of offensive rebounds to keep some possessions alive. Fisher's free throw is up and good. Kayla Fisher shoots 53% from the line, one out of two. Howry has the rebound. Four point lead for the Pirates. Under four minutes to go in the first quarter. Coble. Working in the corner, Howry will try for a three and hit. So Howry's triple. Pushes the lead back out to seven and Howry might be happy to see us back here at the VC Sports Network. She put on the display in our first broadcast against Oxnard, hitting five threes in the win over the Condors and picks up right where she left off. Knocking down a triple here to make it a seven point lead. Step back three, just got a piece of the iron. Fisher tracks down the long rebound. Wolf from 15 missed everything. LeBrun, good outlet. Howry in one on one, finds the trailer. Layup no good. Coble in a crowd forces the shot up no good, but a foul call. So Alexa Coble gets to the line and an uncharacteristic quiet night from Alexa Coble in the loss at Moore Park. And two points in the game, just one of six from the line, and perhaps most noteworthy, no free throw attempts for Alexa Coble in the loss at Moore Park. And just to put that in perspective, uh, in the first two games in conference play, she was 26 of 30 from the line, so averaging 15 free throw attempts per game. And that is not entirely dissimilar to the rest of the year. Certainly no aberration. She is adept at getting to the line where she is right now and hits the first free throw, 16 to eight, one more coming. 17, eight, but might speak uh, as much as anything to uh, the job that uh, the Raiders do. And Kenny Plummer, the coach over at Moore Park and uh, obviously does a great job preparing his team. Game after game, Henry knocks down the three. 17-11. The lead is six for the Pirates. But uh, they are obviously going to be incredibly well prepared, are the Raiders, and they did a great job on Kobel en route to the seven-point win. Kobel stepping through the double team, draws the foul, going to head to the line. So right back to the line for Alexa Coble. And this started out as uh, something of a low scoring first quarter, but well, Pirates up to 17 on the board with a couple of free throws coming for Coble, who shoots very well from the line. I believe my announcer jinxed that. I'm pretty good at it, 82% from the line. One more coming. One out of two for Alexa Coble. 18-11, seven point lead for the Pirates. So we wind down toward two minutes to go in the first quarter. Gutierrez around the high screen. Spins into the lane, has that one blocked. Phillips gets a piece. McKenzie jets into the front court, going coast to coast. Missed the layup, 
knocked out of play, should belong to the Brahmas. Boy, McKenzie with the speed. All the way to the front of the rim, just missed the layup. Seven point lead. It's John Pretedian at the controls. Leaves it for Gutierrez. Henry tried to establish down low. Three on the way, off the back iron, out to Howry. Skip pass, McKenzie, baseline drive in from the left, off the glass, no good. Rebound controlled by the Brahmas. Lamia Sorhindo with the rebound. Pressure from LeBrun. Under a minute to go. Fisher. Chapter 10 in. Gonna have to force one up, partially blocked by LeBrun. So a good defensive set for the Pirates. Forcing the tough shot. It's not going to play two for one. Skip pass to McKenzie. McKenzie back into the starting lineup after missing a couple of weeks. In the game against Moore Park and had a big game. McKenzie going for 22 points to lead the Pirates. Hurts turnaround, shot clock violation. That shot won't count. So the Bravos respond with their own good defensive set. Pirates can't get a shot off, and now with 9.8, Brahmas can play for one more shot here in the first quarter. It's a nice response from the Brahmas, who seemed out of sorts early. And they haven't been able to cut into the deficit much, but they have uh, definitely managed to steady themselves, particularly on the offensive end. Champ Crutanian into the front court quickly. Sorhendo. Out to Henry. Henry drives the lane, lost the handle off of a Pirate player. And with 1.1, Brahmas will be able to bring it in. Baseline right. You have to be careful not to get beat on a cut to the basket from this spot on the floor. They try to set the screen for Gutierrez, but the pass a little too high. No shot coming through one. The Pirates on top, 18-11. Over the Brahmas, it's Ventura College Basketball on the BC Sports Network.
Back underway to start the second quarter. 18-11. Pirates with the lead. And they get it back via the turnover. So LeBrun and Phillips along with Howry, McKenzie, and Coble. Starting five back on the floor for the Pirates to start the second quarter. And a turnover for the Pirates. Gutierrez. Sorhondo down low. Quickly double team. Coble comes in. And Mercedic wants a jump ball. And instead, the turnover going to belong to the Brahmas. So the Pirates force back to back turnovers. Have it back. Leading by seven. Phillips back up top. Shot clock down to 13. Howry will try for a three. Bang! Alexis Howry continues her hot shooting on the BC Sports Network. 21 11. Couple of threes. Howry just five points and the loss at Moore Park, but she's already got eight here tonight. Meanwhile, an offensive foul gives it back to the Pirates, who have their largest lead at 10, 21 to 11. And they have the basketball. Coble working on Sorhondo. Goes to the reverse. What a pretty finish for Alexa Coble. First five points of the second quarter for the Pirates, and they have their largest lead at 12. Give and go. Sorhondo will try from 15. Didn't get any. Let's go back to the strong move from Coble. And she can score with her back to the basket, but she can also face up, put it on the floor, and that is soft touch. And Coble from that same spot drops the pass down low. Phillips in a crowd, and she traveled. So the turnover for the Pirates gives it back. And in addition to uh, not having Miracle Millinghouse and Derricka Millinghouse for the Brahmas and what that means uh, offensively in particular, uh, it shortens the bench as well. A little bit undermanned. Cham Kirtenian rattles home the three. Sophia Champkertenian with a couple of threes in this one. She's got six. That pulls the Brahmas back within eight at 22-14. Coble from 12 feet, that's good. Just cannot leave that shot for Alexa Coble. And she seems to be writing herself after the struggles. At Moore Park, she's got seven. 25-14. Fisher up top. Bahija Allen and a reach in foul. Did get the word on the correct pronunciation, so apologies as always, and hopefully we have them right moving forward. Leslie Salazar checks in, so Hurt and Salazar with Mackenzie, Howry, and LeBrun on the floor. Near steal for Howry. And I know sooner do I say that. Maria, Mariah Isabella Chavez has checked in for the Brahmins. Allen will bring it in, baseline left. Salazar gets a hand on it, has the steal. LeBrun out in front of everybody. Lays it in. Pirates lead it by 13. Champ Kutenian thought about the three. Turn around for Allen. Rims off, no good.
LeBron. Salazar. Skip pass. Howry open for three. It's short. But the long rebound out to Howry. Gutierrez leaked out early and that allowed Howry to get that offensive rebound. Hurt in the lane from 10 feet. Rims high, no good. Salazar able to ultimately win the ball. Good hands from Salazar. That was a good pass moments ago as McKenzie tries to split the double team. Allen has the steal. Get back to that in a moment. Gutierrez shovels to Fisher, pulls up, missed the shot. Has that one stripped by LeBron on the way up. And now McKenzie will track this one down, but rather than take the shot, going to pull it back out. LeBron open for three, no good. Rebound to Fisher. Both teams got a little cold from the floor. Allen with a head of steam. Missed the layup. LeBron tracks down the rebound. Starting to say, going back to that last shot by Howard as a steal by Fisher. Salazar with a terrific pass, the skip pass to find Howry, and that was one of the first things that Rob Hester told us. I'm talking about Leslie Salazar, that she is an outstanding passer, great vision on the floor. And that was certainly a good example of it. And she was able to find Howry, who ultimately couldn't knock down the shot. Meanwhile, Allen able to get the layup and the foul. And the score now 27-16 with Bahija Allen heading to the line for a free throw. Allen a 58% foul shooter. Missed the free throw. Coble will track down the rebound. 27-16. Good pass from LeBrun. Ferrara's shot from 12 won't go. Phillips with the rebound. Great feed to Coble's too strong off the glass. Boy, that's a terrific pass from Tiernan Phillips. And I don't know if even Coble was expecting it. She's a tremendous shooter and misfired from about five feet. That was a pass from Phillips that hard to be expecting. Ferrara, Coble with good position down low. Back outside, Ferrara will try for a three, no good. Rebound on the floor and a tie up. And the jump ball will give it to the Pirates. 4.43 remaining in the first half. Meanwhile, Tahira Henry has returned. So Henry, along with Fisher and Sorhondo, Gutierrez, and Sarah Wolf finishing out the five. And now Wolf will check out. And Lizeth Valencia will check in and a timeout taken. 4.43 remaining here in the second quarter. The Pirates on top, 27 16 on the BC Sports Network. Bring it back live. Brahmas have it in, 27-16. And trail it by 11. Allen with position down low, turnaround shot, won't go, and the rebound off to McKenzie. Open in the corner, Howry gathers for three, rimming no. Allen pulls down another board, finds Gutierrez. Gutierrez 
in one-on-one -on -one with Howry, missed the layup, and McKenzie pulls down another rebound. I like the way McKenzie gets on the boards. LeBrun passes on the three. Salazar again finds Howry on that skip pass, open for three, it's short. Boy, that is a carbon copy of what we saw a couple of minutes ago. And again, Gutierrez leaking out. Phillips might have had that one partially blocked. 27, 29, 18, excuse me. Long three. Rims high, no good. Henry has the rebound, finds Sorhanda. Fisher facing up on Phillips. Goes to the leaner, blocked again by Phillips. Ah, Phillips with a couple of blocks here in this first half. And that's what she brings to the table, getting back into the lineup. Doing that hard work down low, and the three is good. Danny Henley with her first three, 32-18. Tara Innocent going to take a timeout with 2.32 remaining here in the first half and the Pirates up 14 on the BC Sports Network. Promise will have it at midcourt. 2.32 remaining here in the first half. They trail it by 14. They come back with Henry, Allen, Fisher, Gutierrez, and Valencia on the floor. This is Henry working on Koble and Koble with the block. Shot clock at 13 as Henry will bring it in. Finds Allen. Allen can't get the roll. Good job warding off by Coble for the rebound. LeBrun into the lane. We'll peel it back out. Micah Johnson makes her first appearance. For the Pirates gets it back. Coble short corner shot is good. Coble, reliable from that spot on the floor, has got nine here in the first half. Pirates with their largest lead at 16. Henry picks up the dribble. Coble brings the pressure. Valencia for three. Too strong. Coble snatches down another board. LeBrun into the front court. Hooks the pass, finding Phillips. Shot is short. Gutierrez is picked up by Johnson. Henry with good position down low. The triple team comes, but Henry fouled. Going to head to the line. So Tahara Henry to the line for a couple of free throws. 
Henry averages 11 points a game, 64% from the line. And she readies the first free throw. Up and good. Henry coming off a big performance at Santa Barbara City. 16 points to go along with eight rebounds, three assists in the loss, a four-point loss for the Brahmas. One out of two. And the Pirate lead is 15. So we wind down toward a minute to go, 108 and counting. Remaining in the first half. LeBrun, a standing dribble. It's a high screen. Hooks the pass back down low in the screen and roll to perfection. Howery with the finish. She's got 10. 36-19. That was well done on the high screen by Howery. And then as she rolls to the basket, LeBrun finds her. Fisher has that one knocked away by Howery. Chance for the Pirates. Hurt. Pulls up at the foul line, shot won't go. Rebound off to Phillips. Hurt will try one more time and hit. So Hurt gets it back from Phillips. And the Pirates have doubled up the Brahmas, 38-19. Brahmas can play for the final shot. Gutierrez bumped by LeBrun up out front. First foul on Daphne LeBrun. It's the fourth on the Pirates as a team. So they had one to give as Olivia Wynn will check in with 11.2 seconds remaining here in the first half. Lamaya Sorhando will bring it in. Foul line extended right. Work it down low. Henry forces one up, but she's fouled. It's going to go on Tiernan Phillips. Tough matchup for Tiernan Phillips. Giving away some height down low. Second foul. Actually, they're gonna, they're gonna get Amari Hurt. It's interesting. Henry heads back to the line. She hit one out of two a moment ago. Meanwhile, 7.9 seconds, so enough time for the Pirates to get off another shot. Of course, going back to the men's game. They needed significantly less time than that for Dominic Contreras to knock one down from 50 feet. Sending the Pirates into the break with a 20 point lead. Two out of two for Henry. Down to five seconds. LeBrun into the front court. Outside to win, down to one second. Win passes on the shot and the Pirates not gonna get a shot off. Here in the final seconds, instead they will head to the locker room leading 38-21. Halftime here from Ventura. You're watching Ventura College Basketball on the VC Sports Network.
Ventura College Basketball brought to you by Mike Cap Real Estate. Mike Cap is a third generation Venturan and realtor for over 23 years. He is associated with the Becker Group, a leading commercial brokerage and management firm in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties. Contact Mike at 805 214 1620. That's 805 214 1620 for all of your commercial real estate needs. Mike Cap is a proud sponsor of VC Women's Basketball. The Ventura Moose Lodge is a fraternal organization dedicated to assisting the people of our community. Their fundraising efforts help to support Moose Heart, a child care facility, and Moose Haven, a residential community for seniors. In addition, they support various Ventura nonprofit organizations. To learn more, stop in and see them at 10269 Telephone Road or call at 805-323-5095. Proud sponsors of Ventura College Women's Basketball. Plan Member Services is a proud sponsor of the Ventura College women's basketball team. Regardless of where you are in your career, Plan Member can provide you with a personalized financial strategy. To learn more, go to www.planmember.com and request your free personalized retirement plan. Ventura College basketball also brought to you by the Fred Evans Group. The Fred Evans team has been a proud sponsor of Ventura College women's basketball for over two decades. Fred Evans and his team sell Ventura County to the world. Give them a call for all your real estate needs at 805-267-6701 or visit www.fredevans.com. The Bench Warmer is Ventura's version of Cheers. Play darts or shoot pool, listen to your favorite tunes on the jukebox, or just watch the game of the day on one of our many TVs. <coughs> the Bench Warmer, located at 1855 East Main Street in Ventura, is the place to go for a good time. A proud sponsor of Ventura College Women's Basketball. And if you are interested in being a program booster for the Ventura College women's basketball team, you should join the ship's crew. The ship's crew entitles you to special benefits and announcements. For more information, pick up a brochure in the lobby or visit the website at www.vcweplayhard.com and click on women's basketball.
17 point lead for the Pirates at the break. 38 21. They were led by Alexis Howry in the first half with 10. Alexa Kopel chipped in with nine. Meanwhile, Tierra Henry, as she did all last year in the two meetings between these two teams, led the way for the Brahmas. She had eight in the first half going back to last year. Henry had a couple of big performances against the Pirates in a losing effort, including 28 points and 18 rebounds in a loss in the second matchup between the two teams. But she had a double-double in both matchups between the two teams. Phillips on the drive had that one stripped away by Champ Kertenian. Tiernan Phillips wants a foul call, but not going to get one. In fact, Ned Brasetic making the same case. And I think he's got a pretty good case. Looked like some contact on the arm. No foul coming. So Phillips will bring it in. Baseline left. Finds LeBrun. Phillips flashes high out of the triple team. Working around to McKenzie. Two-three zone for the Brahmas. They feed the high post with Coble. McKenzie will try for three short. Coble had a hand on the rebound. McKenzie tracks it down. Coble from 10 feet. So the second chance points continue to be there for the Pirates. And they lead it by 19 at 40 to 21. Tenian around an Allen screen, step back three, no good. Long rebound, Allen had it momentarily, but lost it to Phillips. Quickly ahead, Howry a little push, no foul. Coble with good position down low and a reach in by Fisher. Should be the second on Kayla Fisher. Non-shooting foul. So Phillips will bring it in, baseline left. Now LeBrun will bring it in. And they get it into Howry. Fisher with the anticipation has the steal. It's a two on one if they hurry. Fisher in from the left. McKenzie with the block. It's out of play. What's the call? Looks like it's going to be a foul on McKenzie. Yep. So McKenzie with her second foul. Fisher going to head to the line. And Fisher happy to get to the line, though she misses the first one. Has been struggling shooting from the field over her last several games. So often, you're struggling to knock down shots. It's good to get a chance to get to the line. She's done that a couple of times tonight. One out of two there. She's got two points. 40 to 22. Coble in the short corner. Howry will try for a three. No good. Around and out. Allen has the rebound, and Gutierrez with the travel. That's great anticipation on defense. I want to say it was Tiernan Phillips. Let's see if we have that here. Watch here on the miss after Howry misfires. And this is just a heady play of defense. No, it's Howry. Right there, no contact, but Gutierrez turns around, and Howry right there, and shuffled the feet. McKenzie on the drive. With the leaner, missed it. Rebound to Henry. Well, we saw the men for the Brahmas make a run early in the second half to try and get back into the game before the Pirates responded. This was a 17-point lead for the Pirates here in the women's game. Let's see if the Brahmas can mount something in the third quarter. Try and get themselves back into it. They trail by 18. Not going to be easy to do against the Pirate defense. And for 
setting demands that intensity on the defensive end. Gutierrez spins left, forces the shot up, gets it back, has that one blocked. Another block for Phillips. Gutierrez still at it around and out. Fisher on the offensive glass and a foul. Oh, he said it moments ago. Fisher gets a look, a couple of free throws. Sees one go down and now getting on the offensive glass as she is prone to do. A couple of times this season. Fisher has come up with 16 rebounds in a game. There, the offensive glass and the three-point play, 40 to 25. So Kayla Fisher with the and one opportunity. Coble on the offensive glass. LeBrun passes on the three. Shot clock at 14. Coble flashes high, puts it on the floor. Left-handed lamp is good. Alexa Coble. Puts it on the floor. He's into double figures. She's got 13 in the game now. Gutierrez with a hard drive scoop. Won't go, but a foul call. Let's go back to the work by Alexa Coble. After she gets the offensive rebound, gets the Pirates another chance. And a little show and go by Fisher and converts. On the layup, Amari Hurt will come on to replace Coble along with Danny Henley. So it's Phillips, Henley, Hurt, LeBrun, and Howry on the floor for the Pirates. Chasson Gutierrez misses on the first free throw. Averages 13.3 points per game, 61% foul shooter. Gutierrez is quiet tonight so far with just four points. One out of two from the one. 42, 26, and Allen has the steal. Lazy pass, Allen with a head of steam. No foul call, it's out of play. It's gonna belong to Pierce. I think Allen anticipating the contact Really, she initiated most of it. No call coming, but Brahmas do keep the ball. Plenty of time on the shot clock. They'll bring it in from the corner. 25 on the shot clock. Up top. Fisher starts to drive on Henley. Gutierrez gets the screen from Henry, working the pick and roll again. Shot up, no good, and a foul called. Brahmas go back to the pick and roll. As Henry rolls, and it's Henley who comes on the help. And I think Henry, a little upset with herself, knows she had a great opportunity. For an and one. Point blank. Gets the contact from Henley, but misses on the layup, hits the first free throw. 608 remaining. As Henry hits both. 42-28. Pirate lead is 14. Brahma is gonna show full court pressure with Gutierrez and Chem Kertenian. This looks like a 2-2-1 zone trap. They find Howry who misses on the layup. The Pirates do a good job breaking the press. Get the good look, but don't convert. Henry down the lane, missed the layup. LeBrun into the front court. Coble. Out of the double team. Henley steps into a three, rimming no. Fisher pulls down the board. Midway through the third, and since there's an opportunity here for the Brahmas, Pirates struggling from the field here in the third quarter. Just four points 
in the quarter. But Brahmas haven't been able to make much of a dent. They have just seven points. Allen misses from long range. LeBrun hooks a pass into the corner. Phillips comes up from 14 feet. We have a Brahma player down as they're going to play on, and Koble is going to eventually lay it up and in, but definitely an injury for the Brahmas. We're going to take a quick timeout while they attend to a Brahma player and the Pirates on top, 44-28 on the BC Sports Network. Bring it back live, 44-28. 16 point lead, Sorhondo pulls up, misses from 15. LeBrun has the rebound. Micah Johnson pulls up from 14, foul called. Should go against Gutierrez. First foul on Chaston Gutierrez. Second foul on the Brahmas. It'll send Johnson to the line. Shoots just 25% from the line is Micah Johnson. And first free throw around and out. coming for Micah Johnson. And 0 for 2 for Johnson, but the long rebound tracked down by Salazar. Gutierrez is able to save it off, save it off of Kobel. That's a terrific effort by Chassin Gutierrez. That's a tail end here. As Gutierrez now stays with it, and then right there off of Koba. That is a great play. Chassis Gutierrez to get the ball back for the Browns. Allen out high. Maya Sorhondo working on Johnson. Still looking. It's Fisher. Fisher gets a Sorhondo screen. Trying to create a little room. That's going to be an offensive foul. Good job by Micah Johnson. And Fisher tried to create a little space and pushed off with the shoulder. Relatively easy call. 
under four minutes to go in the third. Right, with a 16 point lead in the ball. Side Johnson. Salazar flashes high. Johnson will try for a three at short. Outlet from Fisher. Two on two, Gutierrez pulls up from 16 and buries it. Chasson Gutierrez knocks down the shot. Meanwhile, LeBrun, coast to coast to the left hand, missed the layup. Off of Fisher, it's gonna stay with the Pirates. It's a good look from Daphne LeBrun. Meanwhile, Sam McKenzie up off the bench. She's going to come back in. So McKenzie and Phillips return for Johnson and Salazar. So a quick run for Johnson and Salazar off the bench here in the third quarter. It's back to LeBrun, Howry, Phillips, McKenzie, and Coble. So the starting five back on. LeBrun for three. Rim's no good. McKenzie battling with Gutierrez. It's going to be a jump ball. That'll keep it here with the Pirates. Another second chance for the Pirates, who have just six points in this third quarter. But they've only lost three points off their lead. Through the hands of Phillips, but right to McKenzie around it out. No good, but a foul called. It's going to go on Sorhando. So that'll send Sam McKenzie to the line. There is a look at Sam McKenzie. Freshman out of Oxnard. Averaging 13.4 points a game, a 61% foul shooter, hits the first free throw. 45-30. One more coming for McKenzie has five points in the game. Misses on the second. 45-30. The lead is 15. Wolf starts to drive. LeBron pokes it free, but right to Gutierrez. Back to Wolf, off the glass, no good. Rebound to Gutierrez. So Cootie Harris just continues to battle in this third quarter. Trying to will the Brahmas back into this one. 13 point lead, pull up jumper from McKenzie, no good, and the rebound off to Fisher. Gutierrez leans over the dribble, screens on both sides, picked up by Phillips and the switch. Wolf, a drive on LeBrun, and LeBrun got a piece. Off to McKenzie. McKenzie jets into the front court. Fisher giving chase. Baseline shot from Phillips. Missed everything, but the outlet pass. Looking for Gutierrez, who continues to give chase. And Howry again, kind of a cagey play. Just kind of puts her body in the way, and that slows Gutierrez' momentum enough that she couldn't chase down that ball. 45-32. Under two minutes to go in the third. Pirates working against the 2-3 zone. Good feed from Phillips. Coble tries to split the double team, which is fouled. That's just a great pass from Tiernan Phillips. Watch the Pirates work it against that 2-3 zone. And they eventually find Phillips, and there's the good feed. And Copel probably could have taken that shot from about eight feet. It's a shot certainly she can knock down with regularity, but elects to put it on the floor, draw the contact, get to the line. Copel with 15 in the game. Goble shoots 82% from the line, so when she can get there. That is often money in the bank, one out of two there. 
46-32. Allen into the front court. Kehara Henry has returned. Thinking about a long three. Henry has LeBron in a switch. So it goes down low, fade away from Wolf is good. So Sarah Wolf with her first two. Coble working on Henry to the reverse, and it goes. Coble, so adept, using that rim for protection against Henry, the shot blocker. Near steal from McKenzie. Long three from Valencia. Off to Sorhando, who's fouled down low by Coble. And once again, we'll watch the work of Alexa Coble. So Maya Sorhando. Head to the line. Sorando, which is a little under three points a game. Still perfect at the line on the season, no more. She was four of four. I don't know if that counts as an announcer jinx. She had released the shot before I started talking about her free throw percentage. One out of two from the line for Sorando. 48-35, Brahma's down 13. LeBrun measures the three, missed it. Allen with the rebound. Going over the timeline, nearly lost it from LeBrun. Now picks it up and finds Henry. Lob pass down low, Sorhando guarded by Hurt. In some trouble, out of the double team finds Valencia. Eight on the shot clock. Henry from 17, no good. Rebound off to Tiernan Phillips. Skip pass from LeBrun. They find Hurt from eight feet, missed it. Henry down to two seconds. Got to get a shot up. She'll fire from three. No good. Through three. Pirates on top, 48-35. You're watching Ventura College Basketball on the VC Sports Network. Start of the fourth quarter. And the Pirates on top, 48-35. The Brahmers will have it. They come out with Wolf, Gutierrez, Valencia, Henry, and Sorhando to start the fourth quarter. Gutierrez working on LeBrun. Shot up, won't go. Gets her own miss, and the follow won't go, but a foul called. Chasson Gutierrez continues to display that motor and nobody for the Pirates seems to be able to keep her off the glass. 
First free throw is good for Gutierrez. Pirates have maintained the double digit lead throughout the third quarter. After they led by 17 at the break. But now they've seen that lead whittled down to 11. This could get interesting in a hurry. McKenzie from 16, back iron. Rebound off to Gutierrez. No numbers for the Brahmas. Henry. Faces up on Coble. To her left on the drive, scoops and scores. Tihara Henry comes up favoring that left ankle. We've already seen one Brahma player down. And now Henry, as Coble takes full advantage and scores down low, 50 to 39, and they're taking a look at Henry over on the Pierce bench. Again, the Pirates, well aware of the situation, had a five on four. And they found Coble, who's up to 20 in the game. And it's 50 to 39. So just briefly, the Brahmas got the lead down to single digits at nine, but Coble came back quickly, and now Henry on the bench. Sorhondo down low, forces up the shot around and out. Coble in a crowd has the rebound. LeBrun skip pass to McKenzie. Baseline drive, Coble forces it up and in. So Alexa Coble, four straight. The lead is 13. Kayla Fisher now matched up with Coble. Threw that one out of bounds. Not sure if she was not on the same page with Sorhando. Anticipating that Sorhando was going to flash through the lane. But instead, the turnover gives it back to the Pirates. Full timeout taken here from Ventura with the Pirates up 13 on the BC Sports Network. Full court pressure for the Brahmas. Dangerous pass from McKenzie, but Phillips has it. Now they have a two on one. Try to work it across to LeBrun, but Fisher hustles back. But saves it to LeBrun, and the Pirates maintain possession. Shot clock at 11. McKenzie at the controls. Shot clock down to five. Fisher gets a hand in. Steal for the Brahmas. Gutierrez in on McKenzie. Shot off the glass, too strong, rebound on the floor. Phillips giving chase, but it ends up with Fisher. Fisher will hold. Shot clock at 13. Lizeth Valencia back on. Now has to hoist from 25, no good. Coble has the rebound, LeBrun looking to run ahead to McKenzie running the floor, lays it in. Lead back to 15, 54-39. 
Gutierrez will try for three and hit. Chasson Gutierrez now with 13 in the game, 54-42. Koble all alone gets the contact from Fisher, a three-point opportunity. But that is a heady play from Koble. Watch this one more time, and she can lay this in right away. As LeBron comes up, and Koble is all low. But little fake, knows Fisher's coming over. Gets the little bump and a three-point opportunity. She goes right up, she can lay that ball in. But knows that Kayla Fisher is going to try and recover. Pirate lead back to 16. We wind under seven minutes to go, a reminder here on the VC Sports Network as Gutierrez pulls up in the lane, missed the little jumper. Off to Salazar. And we'll be back Wednesday night. Double header action as Santa Barbara City College comes in. Men's and women's basketball here on the VC Sports Network. Gutierrez will try for three. Long rebound off to LeBrun. Salazar, baseline jumper in and out. Coble has the rebound. Johnson, shot up, won't go, but a, a foul called, I should say, and Michael Johnson gonna head back to the line. More second chance points coming for the Pirates. Coble with another double-double. We don't have the live stats here tonight, but I'm prepared to call it. I'm prepared to put that out there I think I think she's got to be there 25 points certainly and she's done the job on the boards as well as Johnson hits the free throw one more coming for Micah Johnson two for two for Micah Johnson and the Pirates are back to the same lead they held at the break 59-42, they lead it by 17, Sorhondo facing up on Phillips. Allen trying to establish down low, Phillips. Able to tip that one, they get it to Allen and the turnaround shot is good. So Allen with the turnaround. The Pirate lead still 15. Phillips goes to the left hand and the reach in foul on Allen. So Bahija Allen. We'll send Phillips to the line. Phillips first free throw is up and around it good. Tiernan Phillips. 47% foul shooter. Averages just under nine points a game. Two for two. So Johnson hits a couple, now Phillips hits a couple. Pirates knocking down their free throws here in this fourth quarter. So you go a long way towards salting this one away. Should the Pirates hold on here. Okay. Back to their winning ways as Sorhondo knocks down the 16-footer. 61-45. It'll move the Pirates to 12 and 7 on the season, 3 and 1 in conference. Of course, you gotta believe everybody chasing Moore Park. Phillips expecting Hurt to cut. Reverse is blocked by Sorhondo. But the Pirates will be right there. Off to a 3 and 1 start. Allen steps into a three off the back iron. Gutierrez with the offensive rebound. Half hook won't go. Rebound off to LeBrun who wants to run. No numbers, but LeBrun into the front court now. Peels out. Down to four minutes. Ana Ferrara. Johnson 
wide open. LeBron for three around and out. Allen with the rebound. Starts a drive on Hurt. Ends up with Sorhondo. Turn around for Sorhondo. Whistle and a travel. Coble going to return. As Phillips will look to bring it in. Phillips tries to thread it through, finds Coble to lay up no good. Allen has the rebound. Boy, how did Phillips get that pass through? Wolf trying to keep it alive. It's going to go back to the Pirates. Early on in the Western State North, Moore Park off of that 4 0 start. Figures to be interesting from there, but the Pirates. And two and one along with Alan Hancock and Santa Barbara very early in the conference schedule. Timeout on the floor. Ventura on top, 61 45, 318 remaining in the ballgame on the VC Sports Network. Phillips and Coble. Coble from 13 hits the shot. She's got 27. Well, after the uncharacteristic struggle from the field, Coble has bounced back with a huge game here tonight. Now with 27, Gutierrez fake starts a drive. Coble tips it away. Steal for the Pirates. And Howry going to take it back out. Pirates can run a little clock if they want. 2.23 and counting. Shot clock at 10. Howry open for three. Around and out, back in again. First three points of the second half for Howry. She's got 13 in the game. Wolf steps into an 18-footer around and out. Under two minutes to go. Pirates comfortably out front. They lead it by 21. And they will move to three and one and maintain at least a share of second place. Western State North early on as they get ready to welcome Santa Barbara on Wednesday. Three from LeBrun carries off, uh, caroms off, I should say, but Phillips with another offensive rebound for the Pirates. A quick timeout taken. And this may be just enough to get a couple of players into the game for Ned Mercedic and the Pirates. First appearance tonight for Aaliyah Jackson, who will come on to replace Coble. Ferrara will also return, placing Alexis Howery with 128 remaining. Olivia Wynn has that one nearly intercepted. But he 
Asia Allen. Nearly got there, but the Pirates maintain. And now Fisher gets a hand in, but it's off to Salazar. Henley's high arcing three missed everything. Winding down toward a minute to go. For the Brahmas, they're going to fall to 12 and 7. It's the third loss in a row. But again, this is a team that over the last two seasons won a combined five games. So they have gone a long way toward turning it around. The leaner from Wolf goes from 17, 66 47. Got to believe that when Pierce gets back to full strength, those wins will start coming back again. Salazar, Henley will try for a three. Rims high, no good. Fisher snaps down the board. Brahma still want to run. Wolf hooks the pass down low, but getting back it was win. Good hustle by Olivia Win. It'll stay with the Brahmas. Chavez was open underneath the basket ever so briefly. Down to 24.8. Allen trying to feed Sorahondo the fadeaway. Karam's off to Salazar. Ill-advised pass from Salazar. Fisher with the steal. Tries to leave it for Allen. Ferrara has the steal. Well, it's Helter Skelter right to the finish. Down to five seconds. And now Fisher will back off, and the Pirates will let this one run out. It's a final. 66 47. The Pirates move to 12 and 7 on the season. They're 3 and 1 in conference. The Brahmas drop to 12 and 7, 0 and 3 in conference. Do you want to thank our sponsors once again? for Ventura College Women's Basketball. Planmember.com. The Fred Evans team. Bench warmer sports and spirits in Ventura. Also sponsored by Mike Cap, the Becker Group. And sponsored by the Ventura Moose Lodge. Final score, 66-47, the Pirates over L.A. Pierce. For everybody here at the VC Sports Network, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you Wednesday night. So long, everybody.